Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today, guess what we're doing? The box is back and it's very full. We're talking empties. And I think this will be empties number five, if I recall correctly. So, let's get through this because there is a lot in there. A lot of these are items that you would have seen in the past um, that regularly make my empties videos. So without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Alright, empty number one. <sighs> this is featured in every empties video. I love this stuff. I continue to purchase it. I'm not going to waffle on. Chuck them into a big bucket so I can throw everything out. <laughs> These also feature one pretty much in every of my empties videos. So that's four. But the Johnson's Cotton Squares, I use them to remove my makeup. I love them. I will continue to purchase them. Uh, next. Uh, the top half of my Lightful C 2-in-1 2 with Radiance Booster Serum. Love this stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'd get the double one again. I think I'd probably just get the, the serum. Um, I know that the serum by itself is a little bit weaker than this one, but Honestly, if it's just a little bit weaker than this, I'm quite happy with that because this was just amazing. So, definitely love that serum. Next is the uh, Soap and Glory... What's this called? Sugar Crush Body Scrub. Um, it's very citrusy. It smells nice. It smells like... Um, for all the cocktail drinkers out there, uh, when you muddle um, lime with brown sugar for a mojito, yeah, it smells just like that, minus the mint. It's it's nice. My favourite is the body, the breakfast scrub, scrub, but this was quite nice. My sister loves it, but she likes citrusy smells, so I like sickly sweet smells. <laughs> Next. Uh, shampoo or conditioner. I like that they made a tin. Like, that's pretty cool. Um, this is the Muck Intense Repair Shampoo and the Intense Repair Conditioner. I had gotten samples of these ages ago in a, um, price attack bag, goodie bag. And I was really impressed with the samples, so I bought the full sizes. And I have... Uh, replace it ones in the shower, so yeah. Next, uh, this here is my favorite cleanser of the moment, and it's the Origin Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. It, um, oh, water just came out. I can't really describe the smell, it's a it's a clean smell, it's not overpowering. I think Origins products are more um, organic, uh, so there's like not heaps of bad shit in it, but there's still some, some bad shit, I <laughs> don't know, moving along. Next, always in my empties, it's the, the Body Shop Camomile Waterproof. Eyes and Lips Makeup Remover. I don't know how many of these are in this box, but there's definitely more than just this one. Favorite, it's the it's the cheaper substitute for the <sighs> Clinique um, Take Day Off Eyes and Lips. Um, though it has gone up two dollars, but you know it's better than paying what thirty five dollars for the Clinique ones. So it's fine by me. Next. Uh, here we have a hair treatment. This is the Wella Enrich Moisturising Treatment for Dry and Damaged Hair, Normal Thick Hair Types. 
Um, it smells, it smells nice. It just smells clean. I love the um, the Weller color range because they smell like red lollies. That just it gets me every single time. This is a beautiful treatment. I've used this several times now, so yeah, treatment hoy. Next, what's this? Oh, oh, this is the lovely Bioderma Hydro Bio Solution, Micellar Solution. I absolutely love this. I originally purchased the the pink one. Um, which is, I think it's like Sensibio or something. I bought this because I wanted to try it, but I didn't want to pay full price, hence why it's got a broken lid. Priceline had a, had a sale on and they just discounted it even more, so I was like, oh, it's a win-win. And I absolutely love it, so it's a triple win. So I'll be buying this one from now on instead of the pink one. And even though I have combo oily skin Using this at night time doesn't make me feel greasy. Um, it actually feels a lot... I don't know, it feels like it's doing more. Um, I can't remember what favorite, uh, yeah, monthly favourites video it was. I think it was January. But I talk about it a lot more in that. So, let's move on. Um, I've got a couple of empty boxes here. Um, I've got the Urban Decay X Gwen Stefani box for the lipstick 714. Uh, this here is a small travel size version of the Nails Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base, which I buy the big version of anyway. Got this from the Nails event as well as the um, Orgasm Lip Gloss, which is this box here. <laughs> Uh, and this one here is the box to my NARS multiple in Napali Coast. Beautiful, multiple, ugh, gorgeous. Um, it's face chart. For my uh, make a makeup lesson. <laughs> um, receipt. <laughs> ah, my LA Total Effect 7 in 1 Anti Aging Serum. Love this serum, but it's currently been knocked off the first place perch by the Dauphin Hydra Skin Serum and also the the MAC Lightful C. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in two mind frames about whether or not I want to buy this one again, but I know I can fall back on this guy, so. Oh. A Dimmix bag, more books. Don't think there's a receipt in here though. No, that's okay. <laughs> okay, next. Uh, the Body Shop Chamomile Sun Sun Sumptuous Cleansing Butter, which is what I use as like a pre cleanse before I double cleanse. I buy this all the time. It's in all my other favourites. Oh, sorry, empties. I need to waffle. Next, another empty box. This is the box to my Dauphin Hydra Skin Serum. I just I love that packaging and the oh, packaging hole. Oh, um, but yeah, there's like a small leaflet thing in there. But this serum is so beautiful, so so beautiful, especially at night time. I love this serum. Who that is? Who that is? So, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Let's get rid of some of these empty boxes. Oh my goodness. What's this? The box for the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani lipstick spiderwebs. Another box. Ditto. Wonderland. Box for my ambient strobe lighting powder in euphoric strobe lights. Beautiful, beautiful highlighting powder. Powder power. Uh, another NARS bottle box. This is the box for my velvet matte skin tint. Also a lovely one. Oh, let's 
keep going, shall we? Here we go here. Uh, the box for my Steel All Day Liquid Lipstick in Baka. Another favourite. And lastly, another Urban Decay X Gwen Stefani. This one is for Firebird. And another NARS product. This one is for the eyeshadow duo in Ice Old. Uh, another NARS box. This is for my blush in Luster. Another box. <laughs> this is for my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. It's a shade medium dark warm. Oh look, here's another one. Is that five? <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is a bit yuck. It's been wetted. Um, this is the box to my Mecca to Save Face SPF sunscreen. Love that sunscreen. And there's the actual empty product itself. My previous Holy Grail cleanser the Dermalogica special cleansing gel this is just it's beautiful absolutely beautiful beautiful but yes it's been kicked off the, off the post by this ghost uh, next oh here's another one What do we got here? Oh, we've got the full size version of the Soap and Glory Flake Away. Um, this smells exactly like the Clean On Me body wash. It's, ugh, it's all still it's all sticky in here. It's sticky. Um, absolutely beautiful, but my favourite is the breakfast scrub, but this is quite nice too. A lot of the Soap and Glory stuff smells beautiful. I like, I like the Righteous Butter, but I found that so overpowering, especially because I wear perfume too, so I found that it clashed a little bit, but, oh, here's a, here's the mini one. I wanted to try the little one first before I bought the big one, but I like the breakfast scrub anyway, so, move along. Next, we have Pink by Dama Bottle. I'm currently going through a 500ml one of these, but like I said, I'm going to start getting the blue one because I like the blue one better. Oh, it's a receipt for books. <laughs> uh, a, another favourite of mine, this is the Manicare Moisturising Nail Polish Remover Pads in the Coconut one. I love these. I'm able to remove nail polish from my hands and not stink up the room with chemicals as Chris would say so those are beautiful uh, more shampoo and conditioner these go with that treatment as before absolutely love the Weller range um, though I do like to try other brands as well um, but yeah beautiful products especially if you've got dry slash damaged hair not that my hair is overly dry or overly damaged but having used like heat on my hair a lot i find that using those sort of products helps with it being able to cope under the the heat oh look here's another one what's that six oh my hands are all sticky <laughs> My deodorant of choice, the Nivea Antiperspirant Invisible for black and white clothing. Um, I used to be a spray-on deodorant girl and then, yeah, my best friend, I noticed that she uses roll-on, so I was just like, I'm going to try a roll-on. And, excuse me, this one was on special and I really, really like it, so I just kept buying it since then, so. Eh, don't want to smell. So I'm paranoid about smelling, smelling bad. Ugh. Don't want to be that person that's like, oh, that Raina, she stinks. She's got bad B.O. <laughs> anyway. um, the box for my Clarisonic brush, this is the sensitive brush head. Um, I think 
of trying a different brush head. I have a sensitive one on my Clarisonic at the moment, but I don't know. I'm thinking of trying the delicate one. I don't know. The box oh, of the best primer so far. <laughs> uh, this is the Becca Backlit Backlight Priming Filter Primer. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. Uh, empty mascara thing. This is my mascara of choice. You'll see a couple of empty ones in a sec. Actually, let's, let's bust them out now, shall we? There's two. My favourite mascara of all time. So beautiful. So black. So, so sexy. Can mascara be sexy? Well, it can be now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's this? This is, ah, oh, the box, the mini box of my NARS Multiple in Orgasm. Oh, another one of those. Oh, it smells so nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, here's the little travel size version of the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I had this one in the shower and then had the bigger bottle with all my other nighttime cleansing items. Uh, oh, the Dermalogica Multi Active Toner. This is the toner that I used before I started using the Darfin Refreshing Toner, I think it is. It's on in the blue bottle and has like banana in it. It smells delicious. Not delicious, but fresh. Fresh, delicious. But this, yeah, was kicked off the perch by the Darfin one, but if I ever, you know, get sick of it, I'll go back to my Dermalogica style. Next! Oh my goodness, I love this. This is the Wella Thermal Image Dry Heat Protectant Spray. This stuff Oh, it smells like red lollies, <clears throat> and it's um, it's like what's the terminology? Biphasal. So the bottom part is like a watery liquid, and the top half is oily, and you shake it, and then you use it in your hair, and it's just amazingness of amazingness. Absolutely love this. Keep buying this. We'll keep buying this until they discontinue it. So please. Don't do that to me. I don't want to go through that process again. <laughs> next. Next is the By Terry Cellular Rose Rose Native Cells Samples. They're in here. Um, can't find the other one. Anyway, there was three samples. There's, there was the serum, the eye cream, and oh, someone messaging me. I think that's you, Michelle. Um, so there's the serum, the day, the day cream, and the eye cream. I got this in my beauty loop box level three. Oh, that serum. <gasps> but the serum prize. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Bye, Terry. No. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this? Absolutely beautiful. But the serum was the was the standout for me, followed by the eye cream and followed by the day cream. But that serum. <sighs> Next, a uh, bottle of my Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. This is the oil control one. I prefer this than the all nighter one because this suits my skin a lot better. Use it every day. Absolutely love it. We'll continue to purchase. <sighs> Let's carry on. Alright, what have we got? Ah, oh, here we go. Speaking of Urban Decay, this is said all nighter urban wait, all nighter makeup setting spray. Um, this one is for, for everybody, um, but like I said, I think the D-Slick one 
was better for me personally, but this is still really nice. And both of them together is, yeah, doubly awesome, but these looks for me. Here, oh dear, is my Embryolis Le Creme Concentre. Um, I think this is an absolutely magnificent moisturiser. My only gripe is the metal foily tube because when you get towards the ass end of it, it's just so hard getting it out and I actually had to um, squeeze it into uh, an empty makeup container, like those little um, plastic containers because I was like uh, trying to be Arnie. Ugh trying to squeeze it into the container but this is still a beautiful moisturiser. <sighs> Another mascara, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. I really like this for its wand. Um, I don't usually like um, like the plasticky spiky ones but I didn't mind that so if they discontinue the colossal one, then this is plan B. So, coming up to the last leg here. Here is an actual a Clarisonic brush head. This one is the sensitive one, it's the one that I usually get. I have used the normal one, hated the normal one. I have used the deep pore one. Deep pore one's pretty good, but I usually get this one, so. A little travel size version of the MAC Fix Plus. I love the smell of Fix Plus. Oh, beautiful. I'm not sure if this counts as an empty, but I'm going to keep it anyway, just in case. But yeah, Fix Plus is lovely. This here is a hair treatment. This is the Wella Bio Touch Resist Serum. I don't know. So, I think I was like $10 short of getting that goodie bag, as I mentioned before. And this was like 12 bucks, so I'm like, eh. But I really like this. This is a, definitely a nice treatment for like once a week or once every two weeks or something. I don't think you could do it more than that because it, A, it'd be pointless and B, it's like 12 bucks. So yeah, yeah. Anyway. Next is my Zoeva Cat Eyeliner. What was it? Cat eye pen in blackest black. See that nib? That is why I love this liner pen. It is just oh, there's a little bit there. Um, it is just so fine and beautiful and black, like really, really black. <laughs> black is my heart. Nah, jokes. Jokes. Alright, so we just got some empty sachets. Now, what's this? This is the Josie Moran Pure Argan Milk Intensive Hydrating Tre Treatment. I hated that. That was just... Ugh. Not even gonna talk about it. <laughs> Next. The Body Shop Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Sleep Cream. This was shit. <laughs> to put it lightly, I hated this. I, uh, I'm not even going to go into it. <laughs> I hated it that much. Um, but I didn't mind this. This was the intensely revitalizing facial oil. And I actually didn't mind this. But whenever I go into the body shop, my local body shop, there's a lady there and she always puts the hard sell on you 
And look, I know you work in retail and it's your job, but you see me come in there quite often and no, I do not need cloths or anything. So yeah, yeah. I mean that in the nicest way possible. Absolutely nicest way possible. <laughs> but yes, this was nice. Other one, crap. Next. Ah, oh, here it is. Okay, <laughs> this is the eye. This is the eye cream. No, the the, the daily moisturizer. Yeah, that ranks third. Remember, serum, eye cream, moisturizer. Oh. Next, I used to actually own this. This is the Babyliss Pro Argan Oil Oil Treatment. Um, I would use this the night before I'd wash my hair so I would layer that shit in my hair big time and then um, I'd wash my hair normally um, or I would use it after when I used to wear my hair straight a lot um, I would use it in my, my hair after I've straightened it um, but I don't know I just because my hair's been really, really good lately, I feel like I don't need a lot of those sort of taming type products. So, um, and we're on the, I think we're on the final two products. But firstly, this here is the beautiful Shantakai Flower Harmonizing Cream. Oh, these like. They, they didn't smell lovely, but the actual product themselves is just so beautiful. And then I looked up the price tag and I went, no. Nah. <laughs> so, and then this, this was just amazing. This is the another Shantakai product, but it's the Biolifting Mask. And, oh, my, my sweet baby. Like... Oh, it's beautiful, and then the, I saw the price again, and just went, are you kidding? But, two absolutely beautiful products, you know, Shatakai. If you want to hook me up, you can, you can hook me up. But, hey, guess what, kids? Other than some receipts, which is boring, she empty. Oh, and I've got a scarf in there, but... She's empty! So, yeah, that concludes my empties for the last, I'd say, three months. Maybe even four months. I don't know, when did I record? See, I've recorded an empties video, but I haven't uploaded it yet. So if you get like two empties videos within two months, you know why. Um, I keep finding footage. It, Excuse me, I keep finding footage and I'm like, oh crap, I haven't edited that or oh, uploaded that. So yeah, if I look slightly different, you know why, because I found it. <laughs> but until next time, be good, stay well, and um, yeah, tell me some something that you like. Whether it's beauty related or whether it's a game or, I don't know, let's, let's chat, let's chat. But yes, until next time, bye!